So we're going to do a basic project on um, creating a video about creating video, uh, doing a top 10 video tips for um, shooting good video. So to begin with, we want to go into our WeVideo dashboard, uh, make sure that you are signed in on the um, school paid for account. Uh, and basically you can tell that by you'll see the word projects in here. If you don't see projects in here, you'll probably see a thing down here that says apply code and you'll need to go and get the code that I've posted in Google Classroom. But once you're in, you're gonna go to the projects tab and we need to create a new project. And that project we're gonna call top 10 tips for shooting good video. Okay, um, you can describe the project if you want, we don't really need to. And then down here, we're gonna choose this as a personal because you're working on this alone. Uh, if you were working on it together with other people, you would do collaborative. And then if you were um, sharing resources, that's shared, but we're gonna just do a personal. So click on that, we're gonna click next. And we're going to skip through Eddie Media at the moment and say next again, if this may not even come up for you at all. And then we're going to create our video. So this is the main editing screen. Uh, up here in the corner, we may want to change this right now to uh, rename that video. So we're going to call this the same thing again, top 10 tips or shooting good video. Say okay to that. All right. Um, so down here we have our uh, screen for, let me see if I can get this thing out of the way, sorry. So down here we have um, our tracks that we use for creating our video. And uh, initially we have three different tracks. We have an audio, video one, video two. And I think it's easiest to kind of rename those just to kind of give us a reminder of what goes on each one of those tracks. So audio one, we're gonna just change that to our music track. And video two, and again, you just click on it and then you can delete what's in there and uh, put in a new name. So this is gonna be our main track video two we're going to change that to fx uh, this is going to be just um, a few things that we can add in on this track layer that are uh, they're not titles which we're going to put on top but some frames and things like that so we're going to just add that one in and then we want to add one more track on here uh, so we're going to go to this plus sign up here and click on the plus sign and then you're going to have a choice of video or audio. This is going to be a video. And we're going to rename this one as titles. And add that track. All right. So if you go to review, you'll see again on the bottom music, then main, FX, and titles. And we'll talk about why it's important to have those in that order um, for levels as we get through this a little bit. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to add uh, a title to our uh, video. So we're gonna go up to the text tool up here on the top in the middle, click on that. And we're gonna start with a motion text, which is the top choice. Uh, these are actually pieces of video that have motion when you do the title. And if you can click on any one of them and over here in the preview window, it's gonna show you what that title would look like. So you can choose through any one of these. I'm gonna just go down and grab one down here. And once I've found the title that I like, I'm going to pull it down to that title track right up on the top, okay? And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space in here for the moment, and we'll kind of adjust that after a bit, okay? So I wanna drag, again, any one of these titles that I like and down onto this top track, the title track. Once I have it on that track, I'm gonna to need to edit that. Um, if I hit play, you can see that it just at the moment, mine happens to say my big bold message, but I need to rename that. So I'm gonna come over here 
and click on the hold over the three lines and get my open clip editing tool. And each one of the titles looks a little bit different, but basically in the white boxes is where you can uh, delete the words that are in there and put your own words in here. So I'm gonna call this top and 10 tips for shooting. Oops. Good video. And you'll have a number of options on here. Um, you can pretty much always change the um, font. So I'm gonna just swip, skip over to a different font. Um, I'm gonna use, eh, we'll go with the Distant Galaxy font here and just change each one of those to that uh, font. And you can again, choose whatever font you want. Just kind of personalize it based on what looks good with your particular uh, choice for a title. So I've changed all those in and I look over here on the top, on the side, see if I like it. Um, I can, to some extent, change the font, the size of those fonts by clicking on manual and then changing the sizes in here. I'm not really gonna do that. Even this top one, just because of the way this is formatted, it doesn't really work well to do it. So probably not much you're gonna do in there. You can also change where you want that and the size of it here. So I could uh, squish this down a little bit. Uh, make it bigger, smaller, push it around on there. So a lot of options that you can do on this um, slide here in the menu. And we're going to save those changes. And so now that shows up in my top title track with a correct title. Um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to give myself credit for creating this project. So I'm going to go to the static uh titles okay so right underneath motion are static and i'm going to just grab this top one and i suggest just grab this top one the big one is the sample text and we're going to drag that down again onto our title track and right next to the one we just did and in this case same thing i'm going to hover over the three lines get to that clip editor open it up and in here i just want to put by and my first and last name so by Mr. T. Brooks. And it's always a good idea to match your different text types so that it looks uh, like the whole thing like you planned out going together. This again is a spot where I can change the size down here. So I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to drag it down here. Okay, so I like where that's placed, so I'm going to save those changes in here. All right, so that's uh, my title track that I'm doing for right now. And then I'm going to put a background behind that, okay? So even though these look like they're black, they're actually kind of clear. Uh, there's just no background behind it. So we're going to go to backgrounds and select one of these backgrounds to put behind it. Again, you can decide what appeals to you. Uh, my only caution is that you don't want a background that um, is so uh, busy and does so much that people don't actually read the titles easily, okay? So I pick something that's a little on the simpler side here. So I'm just gonna grab, uh, we'll just grab this one, drag it down, and I'm gonna put that down on my main layer, okay? So, This is where um, I'm gonna just show you why it's important that we have this, the layers in the correct order. If I move over here, you can see that um, as I'm playing this, I end up with my titles coming up over the top of this blue background. If, however, I had not put those on the right layer, so let's just say I had put those on this middle layer and then I put this background on top, when I play it, now you see the background, but you don't see any of the titles. The titles are actually there. They're still playing, but they're just covered up by the background because the background 
is not clear. You can't see through it like you can with the others. So uh, real important to pay attention to layers as you're going through this project and as you have multiple pieces of video that are kind of on top of each other with titles and things like that. So I'm going to push that back, uh, that uh, background again on the main, and I want to push it all the way over on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to grab my title and throw that up here and then throw my credit for myself, my name up right next to it. Okay. At this point, I want to kind of take a look at um, the timing on these. So I'm going to slide my playhead all the way over to the left-hand side, or I could have done that over here. And I'm going to play it and just kind of see um, if I have time to read those titles and how that feels. Uh, there's no specific rule to it. Uh, one of the tricks that I use is I read the title out loud as it comes up. And if I can comfortably read it out loud, then I figure that's a pretty good speed for it. Um, I don't want it to be too fast that people don't have time to read it and feel rushed. I also don't want it to be so slow that it's, you know, people are bored reading my title. So uh, if I hit the play bar, it's going to take a second for that title to come up and I'm going to read it. Top 10 tips for shooting good video. And then my name comes up by Mr. T. Brooks. So the tip itself, that was about right. I'm going to add just a little bit of length to that. So I'm going to click on it and get the orange border. So that means I'm editing that clip. And I'm going to just add a little bit of time to that. Okay. My name, however, was way too long. Uh, people don't need to see my name up there for that long a period of time. So I'm going to adjust that down a little bit. And by the way, this is this, this is kind of a small area to edit in. Down here in the bottom right corner, I do have a zoom bar. So I'm gonna just, I can zoom those in. And that you can see gives me a little bit uh, easier time editing these down. It doesn't change the time or anything like that when I do it, it just zooms in on it. And so I can be more precise in my editing. So we'll go back to the beginning and play this and see what it looks like. So it goes across. So top 10 tips for shooting good video by Mr. T. Brooks. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that time. I'm not going to get too crazy about it. Um, now this is 10 tips, so I am going to uh, go into my text again, and I'm going to grab again another static uh, text, and I'm going to drag that down to this layer down here and click on it to edit it. And this is where we're going to begin putting in our tips. So tip number one. So the number tip number one is to plan ahead. And again, I'm going to match my textile that I used before. So I'm going to keep using this distant galaxy in here. Uh, I want it pretty much in the center of the page. So I'm going to leave it right where it's at. And the size is okay as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I can pull it right down a little bit to center it a little better and save those changes. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm going to also grab um, some backgrounds. But before I put in uh, my bottom layer background, I'm going to go to Frames. And I'm going to choose one of these frames in here. And I'm going to drag the frame down to uh, this middle layer, the FX layer. And when I put my playhead in, you can see now that I've got tip number one, which is the top title track. And then I've got this frame now around that. And I'm going to now go to solids and choose whatever color I want for solids. So I'm just going to grab this red and drag that right down here. Okay. So you can see these layers. I've got the bottom layer of red. Um, the edges of that red is covered up by this frame. Okay. And then over the top of that is my title. So that's how I can layer a number of videos together. And again, we can see the importance of having that solid layer on the bottom. Because if I had put that up on the top, you would just see red. You wouldn't see the frame or uh, the lettering on that. So got to get those in the right order. And we'll just play this and see how that looks in terms of timing. So tip number one, plan ahead. So that's uh, about the right amount of time. I'll give it just a little more, more time. 
And uh, at this point, I need to just shorten this a little bit um, to this point. So I can go in and a couple different ways I can do it is I can go in and uh, click on each layer here that I want to do. And I'm going to use the cut tool in here or clip tool and click on the pair of scissors. And now that's cut this into two different pieces and the highlight of the second one. And that's kind of the extra. I don't need that. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to come down here, do the same thing. Click on the cut tool and get rid of that extra. And same thing down here. Um, I also could have just simply grabbed this edge and slid that right up against there and line those up that way. So either way, I can um, cut down the amount of video and extra here with this, especially when they've got these kind of static things. Um, it's real easy to do. All right, so there's my tip number one, and I've got my whole thing set up from the beginning. Now I'm going to go in and find tip number one. And in this case, I have created uh, a number of tips, all those 10 tips. So I'm going to go to the My Media folder up here in the top. And I'm going to go to Shared because I have shared this with you. And it's in a folder called Top Video Tips. So I grab those top video tips. And here are all the pieces of video that we need to create this project, okay? So uh, I've renamed those instead of, you know, being some generic, you know, G, generic code that's like 6354 or something like that, IMG 6534, I've renamed them all uh, in two ways. Uh, first thing I've done is to uh, put in a number that it corresponds with whatever tip they go with. So tip number one goes with tip number one, two, three, four, et cetera. And then I've also, uh, if it's if there's multiple sets of video in the same area, so like for number two, there's actually five pieces of video. I did that 2A, 2B, 2CD. And then I also put a little uh, title in there just to kind of remind me of what that is all about. So uh, for tip number one, there is only number one. It's planning ahead, okay? Uh, so, oh, uh, also I need to get these in order. Once I've named these, it, for whatever reason, WeVideo doesn't hold the order for me. So I'm going to use the sort tool over here. So sort my media, click on that, and I want to sort by name. And then I actually have to go back again and sort by ascending. So in doing that, it puts them all in order. So this is number one, then the video is 2A, 2B, C, 2D, all the way through there, three, et cetera. So now my videos are all essentially in order and I can just grab them and start sliding them down in. All right, so once I've ordered those, I've got this video number one planning ahead. I'm gonna grab that and put it down on my main track right up against my title that I've already done. Okay, and you can see that um, that video is in here, goes all the way across. I'm going to unzoom a little bit. Okay, so there's my first chunk of video in here. Now I'm going to just sort of, you know, rinse and repeat this process for a bit. And I want to keep putting those tips, tip number two, three, four, et cetera, on the side here. So I'm going to go and just slide this over just a little bit so I've got some space to work in here. And what I want to do is highlight just these three clips of video for the tip. Okay, so that subtitle that's our tip with the frame and the um, solid base layer on it. I'm going to highlight those and you can see that they've turned um, blue all around all three of those. I'm going to have to use the old shortcut keys of Control C to copy. And then I move my playhead over here and I'm going to hit Control V to paste. Okay. So I've now copied that whole set of videos. So I don't have to go back each time and redo all those steps of, you know, finding the uh, title in, in our text and then the frame and the red background. I don't have to do that over and over again. In fact, because I've control C copied them as I work through the rest of this, I can just hit control V over and over and over again to um, add those videos in. Okay. So I'm going to slide this one in place and highlight these three and slide those over right next to our tip number one. And now I'm going to change this top um, video title and go to my clip editor tool. And in this case, I'm on tip number two, which is use good lighting. OK, 
Okay. And that's fitting in there. I can adjust it up just a little bit to be in the center. Save those changes. And there's my tip number two. So real easy now you can see to create those uh, subtitles throughout our video with the different tips. And then I'm going to go up here and look for all the tip numbers too. So this is 2A. Drag that down. 2B. And I'll avoid the to be or not to be joke. 2C goes in. And now some people get worried, hey, wait a minute, I'm running out of space over there. Nope, it'll just keep adding space for it. So I'm going to move, use this uh, bar down here to slide over. And I'm going to grab 2D. And then finally 2E. Okay. And we'll slide over a little farther. All right, so those are my tips for uh, tip number two which is um, use good lighting. So I'm going to bring my playhead over. I'm going to use my control V shortcut. And that is, whoop, I was a little too close. Got to slide over just a little more. Control V, put in my next set of subtitles. Click on this one to edit it. And now we're on tip number three, which is shoot horizontally I've got my caps not right but it doesn't actually matter with my type style and again I just kind of adjust that to the center and hit save changes and then I'm going to grab the video for number three there's just one shoot horizontally and drag that down in next to it and then I'll click over here to come over to the other side of it, drag my playhead over, and repeat that process again for tip number four. Okay, and tip four is uh, choosing the right distance. And save that. And then we'll find there's two of them for tip number four. So 4A and 4B. Go in there. Okay. So you can easily see there's just the pattern, right? If we're going to just go back, put that playhead over, click on it, and put in uh, our next tip. Tip number five, um, I've listed all the tips in Google Classroom for you guys. So if you go to your Google Classroom, you'll see that I've got uh, up near the top uh, just the list of top video tips. So go ahead and open up. It's just a document uh, in here. That lists all 10 of those video tips. And so just you can use that to continue on uh, creating, you know, a title for whatever tip you're on. So we're on tip number five right now, which is pleasing background. And then you go to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then back in WeVideo, you'll find those videos, the corresponding videos all listed in there um, for one through nine. Okay. We're not going to do number 10 at this point. So just get through one through nine. All right. So that uh, is the first step that we're going to kind of put all of these in and begin to create our rough cut uh, for our video. So go ahead and finish all of those all the way through tip number nine.